plenty of uh, plenty of stories about ice cream on Nosh.com of late, but one story that hasn't been written about yet is uh, the news that almost broke the internet this week that Jenny's ice cream was launching an everything bagel flavored ice cream. This has all the everything bagel seasoning is also made with a base of cream cheese. A lot of different opinions on this. I posted this on Instagram, got some uh, interesting uh, feedback. Some people said that they can wait to try it. Some people just, you know, they had like the green emoji face with like the puffed out <laughs> cheeks, you know. I don't know where I stand on it myself, honestly. Uh, I like sweet and savory things, but this is might be this might be a little out there for me. I'm totally in. <laughs> I love everything about everything bagels and cream cheese. You know, sign me up. So, Jackie, what is it that makes it everything? Like, could this berry immunity be an everything berry immunity? Because <laughs> it has elderberry, strawberry, kamu kamu, echinacea, lion's mane, and prebiotic. Like, what what makes it an everything? This is Remedy Organics, by the way traditional everything you got all of the best seeds and spices so you got like onion you got garlic you got poppy seeds you got everything <laughs> so it's it's really tasty i like you it got I, you got everything <laughs> you got everything like my, you sounded like my grandfather my grandpa d'angelo there for a second you got everything <laughs> you got everything talk with now, my hands it, now coming from it's incredible uh, <laughs> Coming from someone who was uh, grow, who grew up on Long Island, is this sacrilege, John Craven? Um, well, first of all, the key thing in an everything bagel that's often forgotten is salt. So uh, you need that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I like an everything bagel. I make my own bagels. I only make everything bagels, by the way. Uh, <laughs> ice cream and this sort of, I don't know. I mean, I, there's a place uh, up here in Boston called Blackbird Donuts that makes an everything bagel donut that literally looks like a miniature everything bagel, complete with like cream cheese. And it's like they basically just made a donut taste like a bagel. There's also like other brands that are doing some, like Cool House has French fry. Mm -hmm. Churro. And I'm yeah. like a fan of that. You know, I do like sweet and savory. So I think yeah, I feel like it's space for it, that. I feel like it's just one of those things that it's, I'd love to try it. It just seems hard to like think about that being anything more than an infrequent sort of right flavor, mm -hmm. you know, like it's not going to replace whatever your staple is. Yeah. Do you like cream cheese on your bagel? Cause that's what it's going to be like, right? It's going to be like a cream, you know, a sweeter, creamier yeah. bagel in ice cream form. And I mean, look, Jenny's, I give them the benefit of the doubt because they've they've definitely put some interesting flavors out there before that I didn't think I was going to love, and then I did. So definitely send it my way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they make great ice cream. I, I'm not going to argue with that. Chapel Street, Newton, Massachusetts. <laughs> I think it's like also with ice cream, it's a great area to experiment because people are always looking, like Ben and Jerry's, you know, always coming out with crazy new ideas well, they're and the masters, always looking for something <laughs> yeah they're the masters but people are always looking for new flavors because you have your typical you know you go for your vanilla when you're just feeling you know vanilla and then you go for something spicy when you're feeling spicy i mean i think it's time for them to stop with the dave matthews band theme songs because i think that that's kind of you know a little past but but still like i and can they bring back bovinity divinity please i have I mean, that was my favorite well yeah. here's the deal it's a limited edition flavor, this everything bagel flavor, and it's gotten people talking. And isn't that what half of marketing is about, getting people talking and yeah. interested? So, I mean, great job for the uh, for the team behind Jenny's on not just the formulation, but I guess the amount of noise they created uh, when they launched this thing. So I'm sure we will all try it at some point, and I'm sure I will become a believer. It's just hard for me right now to imagine garlic and sesame seeds in my ice cream, but that's just me. Speaking mm -hmm. of food and beverage entrepreneurs and all the things we have lined up for the next few weeks and months, uh, Jackie, we've got a new speed dating event coming out. Uh, tell our audience all about it. Yeah. So we actually have two speed dating events coming up next month in February. So we have investor speed dating on February 11th, and then we have designer speed dating on February 17th. So pitch top CPG investors come talk about packaging ideas with some designers. Um, and you can find information on those events on Bevna and Nosh. 
You know, we get uh, inbound messages and inbound emails from a bunch of people who want to know how they can be more involved with BevNet and Nosh. Speed dating is certainly one of the ways to do that. Our category close-up series, another way to participate. Primarily, though, I'm getting emails and messages about people who want to participate in Taste Radio. And there are some good fits, though I, I want to note that for early stage brands, really early stage brands, ones that are, you know, a year old, maybe a year and a half old, a better fit is our Elevator Talk series, which really showcases emerging brands and their disruptive concepts via interviews, about 10-minute interviews, live or recorded, and featuring a co-host who is an expert in the industry, whether it be an expert at investment, packaging, operations, formulation, and these people can give really good advice. So it's an opportunity to promote your brand, talk about the inspiration behind it, the products, your business strategy, and hear some constructive criticism or feedback from that co-host. So I think it's a win-win for every early stage brand. The way to apply is just to go to bevnet.com slash elevator talk. We'll get you set up. We're hosting these uh, new episodes every two weeks for the rest of the year. I love these. I love, love, love doing these. Um, it, It exposes me to so many cool people and so many cool new ideas. And it's, it's like, it's almost like doing a new beverage showdown or a Nosh pitch slam like every two weeks. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really fun to watch too. Um, And to talk to these brands, you know, as soon as um, you apply, I'll probably be in touch with you, get you set up for um, future recordings. But yeah, it's a great opportunity for brands to also meet each other too in um, this virtual space and meet other founders and hear what everyone else is doing in the industry, especially emerging brands that are coming in with new innovative ideas. 